I'm like, I'm gonna die. Cause I, I knew I got hit so many times. I was like, oh yeah, it's over with. This is dying. Uh -huh. That's their new name. We gotta call them that. <laughs> he kind of said it. He was like, my ideal girl, the girl that I'm gonna be with. Yo, it's your boy Von Ray. We back with another episode. This is episode 10. Okay, double digits. We we in double digits now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> episode 10, man. Um, I do want to say I appreciate everybody for supporting the podcast. Our numbers have been going up and up every episode, so that's really good. But um, today I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves. I got a special guest again, and um, we're going to get into it. You started off for me, Celine. Yeah, what's up? Celine Alexandria, Travis Fitness Lifestyles, March Madness. We out there getting in them gyms, getting them spring, summer bodies right. Then we're going to be out here. Outside. It's your girl, Caviar Sundays, designer, actor, rapper. Coochie connoisseur. Coochie connoisseur. Yeah, don't, don't get it twisted. Uh, <laughs> 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 Not the one Philanthropic <laughs> hero. It's your girl. Um, yeah. Uh, my name is Vincent Morales. I'm a full-time realtor. I'm known for uh, marrying my wife on national TV <laughs> at, first, at first sight. Marrying so, a stranger. Marrying <laughs> a stranger. Yeah, that was crazy. That's crazy. That's what's up, man. I thought this was very necessary to have you on because we have, you know, certain people on. But I was like, yeah, I need to have my boy Vince because we met, like, I think before the show aired. You know what I'm saying? No, we actually married. Uh, we actually um, met uh, after. It was after, after we filmed. Show? Yeah, after we had filmed, but it's just, uh, it wasn't on TV yet. I mean, it wasn't on TV yeah, yet. Yeah, so yeah. We had already finished filming or whatever. Got you. So yeah. you was already, like, deep in your relationship. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So tell me that process. How does you? How do you even get to the point to say, okay, whatever woman they put in front of me, I'm gonna just walk down this aisle and say yes. All right. So um, the reason I I didn't even know about the show. That's the craziest part. I didn't even know about the show. I just got a random DM like, hey, would you be interested in um, going on a dating show? They didn't really say <laughs> it was married at first sight. Yeah. So I was like, I'm single. You know what I'm saying? So. Let me give it a shot. I ain't got nothing to lose. You ain't got nothing to lose. So you ain't, ain't had no hoes at the time. You just chilling. I was just chilling. <laughs> just chilling. Okay, okay. And yeah, you, so it was a pandemic. So you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, all right, there's not much going on. And just give it a shot, basically. And when you saw her, like, what first, tell me this, what was the process to leading up to actually getting to the, because I watched it before. I didn't, yeah. I don't even think it's, I watched Joy. Yeah. I just think I saw it on Netflix before. Mm -hmm. And they just walked, basically walked down the aisle and just, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, so basically I got a DM like, hey, would you be interested on, um, you know, going on a dating show? And I, um, I thought it was like, that was on a scam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a scam. And I'm like, uh, I didn't reply right, right away. And then she, the lady was like, hey, you can Google me. I'm actually, you know, I'm legit. So cool. We, um, we spoke um on the phone for about an hour and she she said i think you'd be great and then she told me what it was and i yeah. was like i don't know if i want to get married <laughs> you know what I mean? like that's a little bit extreme yeah so I'm, I, I was cool with dating you know but uh, marriage is a huge deal you know yeah. what i'm saying so um they sent me the application i was like whatever let's just see what happens and this was with no thought that i was going to be selected at all so uh, the application was crazy. It was like over 500 questions. It Jesus. Was they trying to make sure <laughs> motherfuckers hey, that's, that's a real matchmaking yeah. right there. Yeah, it's crazy. So I just was detailed as possible. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I filled out the application. I just kind of, they kept calling me back. Yeah. There was like sometimes weeks or months I wouldn't hear back. So it was like a long process. Mm -hmm. And then finally um, I got selected. They kind of like surprised me or whatever. So when they told me that, <laughs> when they told me I was selected, um, they said I had two weeks to prepare for a wedding. What the fuck? Oh, they had you jumping off the porch real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so you got two weeks to prepare so, for something nobody you even know. And nobody knows. Okay. My family, nobody, my friend. Well, maybe a friend or two knew. You ain't call them and be like, hey, man, I'm about to get married. Hey, yo. <laughs> so imagine that call with your mom. Yeah. So how was, uh, how was dating, like, in the midst of that, like, process of applying for it and then coming up to that, you know, finding out you got selected? So, like, once I got closer, that's when I started, like, stopped communicating with other, like, people, just like, hey, like, this is what I got going on. So I communicated with people that I wasn't, like... Yeah, you're serious about. I'm about to get married. 
I haven't met her yet. So basically, <laughs> when they tell you you're selected, you're pretty much engaged. Mm. You're but engaged. you haven't met her at all. And you haven't met her. But what I will wow. say is that, you know, some people would, uh, you know, they're so hype about going on TV, they're going to lie on the application. But I was just legit, like, 100%. Yeah, yeah. This mm. is th These are my requirements. I said, I'm dating nothing but black or Hispanic. That's my type. This curly, and I said like curly hair and this type oh, of body so style. Mm. I was very detailed okay, nice. as far as what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. Because what happens sometimes is people go on there and just <laughs> to get on the show, they'll take anything. Yeah. And then <laughs> you see people, anything. yeah, you see people like only last like a week. Yeah. And I didn't want that for me because imagine getting your mom, your mm. grandma, everybody involved. Everybody shows up to the wedding. They're excited for you. Imagine telling them that you di divorced after a week. That's probably just, I wouldn't imagine how. But I that's more feel. ideal by marrying somebody you ain't never met. I would yeah. expect a divorce that's after a week. Too. That's all I want. It ain't right, people right, that make right. it through the dating stage that's after true. a week. You that's know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, I, you know, I was very detailed as far as what I wanted. You know, somebody that was humble, but, you know, a go getter and just things like that. And um, so they pretty much helped you. Find your wife. Yeah, basically. That's but I amazing. was just very like, it's got to be like this or I'm walking uh, out. They yeah, say, they say speak to what you yeah, want. Yeah, I was Thanks. ready to walk. Like I said, if, you know, like if you guys don't give me what, I, what I'm requesting because I'm being like, real literal about everything, I'm ready to walk <laughs> oh, out sorry. during what wedding. Is your like I'm yeah. literally getting in the car and drive away because, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm telling you exactly what I want, that's what you got to provide. Well, I'm pretty sure they had a team because like, God damn. There's some people that go in there that I've seen that they like, I don't do, don't like this person at all. They're not what I want. Like, I'm not attracted. Like the one, I don't remember if it was a black guy and a white girl, but they were, he was like, I'm not, I'm just not attracted. Mm -hmm. And I, I was just, okay, well, I guess you clear that up and set the record show. You do got the you options to You got to say pick. what you want for real. Yeah, because I'm like, yeah. well, how y'all get to yeah. this point? <laughs> yeah, I think people just lie, So your wife was also very honest herself on yeah, the Yeah, she was. Process. She That's was. Crazy. And actually, um, you know, she was uh, not even... The thing about her was she wasn't even trying to go on marriage the first half. She was trying to go on Love is Blind. Oh, because mm. it's more you more dating exactly. process. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that show is a more dating yeah, process. Yeah, so, you know, I, I, I think she also was very honest about what she wanted, and that's how, like, we were able to work out. So tell me this. When you basically, because I, I think I've seen an episode before where they walking down the aisle, what was your mind thinking? <laughs> right. Like, when you was like, okay, I'm at this part. She down Yo, there. That, when you, when you saw her, her yeah, what you was you thinking? Her, Let me yeah. tell you this. Um. Before I walk down the aisle, all right, so my groomsmen, they walk in before me, and I'm, like, at the, on the other, on the other end, so people can't see me, so yeah. I almost fainted, like, twice. <laughs> I swear to God, I almost fainted, like, him? twice. No, before, before, before I walked in, You just, was just hella nervous, like, what the hell is I'm doing hell, right now? <laughs> I was about to pass out. Like, you know how you see the... Like in the movies when the people see the stars, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was seeing, bro. <laughs> you was probably like, "What yeah. the hell am I doing right now?" Yo, hell yeah! I was like, "What the? F what am I doing?" So right what now? was it yeah. like so, when you first saw her? Like, so when I saw my out. wife, I was like, "Yo, she's beautiful." Yeah, and I just hope we get along. Yeah, that was, that was the thing. But once we started like talking or whatever, I'm like, "Yo, she's cool. She's cool as hell." Was it awkward at any moments? Like, Yo, did y'all do the kiss thing when they say kiss. I did? Y'all kiss? <laughs> Yeah. Just like right off the bunk. So I, one thing about me, I'm very spiritual. Um, I believe things happen for a reason. So I came in knowing that I was put in that place for a reason. So okay. to me, that's just kind of what it was. And to be honest, our wedding felt like a real wedding. Yeah. Everybody said the same thing. Like we was dancing, having a good old time. Her family clicked with my family. And it, it felt like a real wedding. Except Cosmically it was like aligned. Yeah. Does production like, like take care of the wedding? Like, yeah, they pay for everything. Oh, okay. So that's, that's you don't, you don't get any say so any of that part. Uh, they do tell you like color color schemes and stuff like that. They tell you, but you yeah, don't Yeah, they give you a list, but yeah. So you're, you, I take it you from New York, New Jersey? Where you so from? I'm Dominican, but I, okay. I lived in New York. Okay, like where the about your Northeast. wife? Um, she was born in Atlanta, but is from Memphis. Okay. Okay, you got a real Atlanta girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. a real Memphis yeah. girl. <laughs> yeah. That's fire. Mm -hmm. So, um... Y'all had this wedding. It was like a real wedding, basically. It felt like a real wedding. Felt like a real wedding. Y'all yes. didn't have any awkward moments where you was kind of like, ah, that okay. Yo, nope. No, not at all, bro. For real? Mm -hmm. it, it, it felt perfect. Like I said, bro, like, 
I obviously prayed and prayed and prayed. I was like, oh, God, please. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, it could have been a nightmare. You know what I mean? So it just, I just think it just was meant to happen. So tell me this. How did it, what happened after the wedding night? Because usually people consecrate their marriage afterwards. Did, was that immediate or was it like? Y'all gonna wait, really get to know each other? No, we just we just, we slept on the same bed. Like yeah. you can see it on the show, we slept on the same bed. It was just cool. So y'all did take we, the time. We didn't really... do nothing though. You know what I'm saying? Just to make <laughs> it clear the air. You know what I'm saying? We didn't do nothing. Right. A very <laughs> respectful <laughs> man. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Saying? But y'all yeah. did take the time to really, because I know after the fact they sent y'all on the honeymoon and all of that stuff. Yeah. So, oh man, I don't know if y'all watched the show, but um, our season was a little crazy. There was like a fight. Cause it was another couple yeah. going crazy or something. Yeah, that was, was another couple. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you, man. Do it you was... all interact with the other couples at any point? So yeah, we do. Okay. We do. They kind of like uh, when we go on the honeymoon, we meet and then we do a couple of uh, like activities together. Oh, everybody nice. don't get a different honeymoon. No, I think that just make it more like. I think it's because it's, it's just the the yeah. Where did yeah. y'all go? Also, you see who gonna cheat, who not gonna cheat, who gonna choose up with other people. Oh man, that's a real test show. show. Uh, no, I'm saying at the honeymoon. When the but you're doing meet. separate things. You're yeah. doing separate activities. You're I'm filming. Like, that's another show, girl. No, no, no. So you, we went to um, yeah, the honeymoon was in Vegas because it was oh, in the middle of the pandemic. Okay. Oh, so we couldn't travel out the country that's and stuff. Right, yeah. So that's still a good little honeymoon though. Yeah, yeah it was things. fun. It was fun. We we had a good time. Um, so you know, like I said, people go their separate ways. They film individual things, yeah, but then y'all also did dates. stuff together. And then we do we do like dinners and stuff like that. And then we did like drinks together. We did we played like we played like you know like games and stuff like that. You yeah, know, uh, in Vegas. Um, so we was just you know. We was just kicking it cool. What did the uh, other couple, did you all like witness this fight or like they just didn't work out? Oh, like, man. They just so it was just, um, I hate to be messy, but like, I can't, <laughs> I didn't watch so many different clips on the internet. I have too. So was it, was the couple that was, uh, I can't even right. remember their name. All right. So basically, I can, I can just see this, this happening was, with me. Like you said, what? Nick? what? Yeah. So basically, <laughs> like, basically, like, I don't know you. <laughs> Basically, what the the whole thing that stirred up the pot for like our season was that there was a guy on the show that um, after he got married, he found out that his ex was pregnant. Oh, <laughs> I seen that. Yeah. He had a little curly yeah, thing on yeah, his head yeah. like yours. Yeah, I seen it's that. Afro guy. I mean, it's yeah, Afro. <laughs> <laughs> but I seen that, and he he was trying to go back with her or something because he said he felt like it was supposed to be. Like basically, he wanted to be there for his be there for his exactly. child. So he was like basically like back back and forth between his ex and what? his current wife. Was he compatible? So it was just with this whole though? thing. I'm sorry. Was he compatible with her? I. If the baby wasn't there, you think they would have worked out? If the baby wasn't there, he man. But what was the actual <laughs> argument about? Because that's something that I mean, y'all, that's valid. Like, if you marry a nigga at first sight and you found out he got a baby on the way, that's like a new, new. Exactly. I, didn't, I didn't know. So that. you would be cool, like all right, let's deal I mean, with it. That's something that I mean, you could, you would just have to take that and run with it. I mean, what can you really say? That's right. a, but what can you say if this man saying he want to be with his baby mama and he don't know what he want to do? He said. he said he was trying to go back and forth to make sure the he kid. was like a little back and forth between oh, he like because he's like I want to be there, I want to. You know, mom yeah, and dad whole, situation. Yeah. From oh, child. okay. Well, see, this thing yeah. like they just parents. I thought you meant he wanted to be there. Like yeah. I wanted to be a, like a yeah. whole parent. Oh. So the whole drama was like oh, well. people was trying to get into. He thought people was trying to get into his business. Like, oh man, you got to step up and this and that. Like you know, basically like getting into his business. So he felt like uncomfortable, and that's where the whole. Like, yeah, because like, I feel like sometimes them counselors they be having on them shows. Yeah, they're I know they be there sometimes. for entertainment, and I know they be trying to guide you, but it be kind of like it's biased at times. I bias. Think. No, I, th I think that, that they do a good job. You reach out to them, and they 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 you know give you a nice talk. So the the my experience was well. That, that, that's yeah. all I, I could say. I was like, yeah. you might be an easy going guy that ain't have probably much to really like iron out with you, but. I, be, I see it sometimes where I'm like, dang, she's really going in on this man. Like, she's being biased to the situation. Like, like really, like, bashing him. Like, I've seen yeah. different ones, though. Did you ever talk to him and, like, have a personal conversation? Yeah, like, yeah, like you know, obviously, like, watching out for, for him. Like, you know, you know, black guy, you know, somebody that I felt, like, was a friend at the time. Yeah, yeah. Going through this experience with me and just kind of was like, yo, bro, just keep it cool, you know, Paige. That was the name of his wife. Like, she's a good woman. Like, you know what I'm saying? So just, you know, handle your business. I really couldn't say much. Yeah. You know, it's unfortunate that he's going through that. And I couldn't, 
I wouldn't know what to do if I was in his shoes, basically. Got you. So let's fast forward. You went through the show thing three months down the line. Did y'all buy a house together? Y'all moved in together right after? Or how did that go? So um, we had finished filming and we was living at my apartment. And um, it so was, y'all it just was, immediately went from this moved to in. moving in together because yeah. y'all married. That's, that's requirement. Yeah, so but like, no, it's not a requirement. We oh, just okay. felt comfortable with each oh, other. Oh, well, that's, that's amazing. amazing. Yeah, yeah I mean, man, I, niggas move in quicker and they got a <laughs> ring. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, I know the yeah. lesbians is moving in quick, but Because yeah. when, you, when you break this shit down, this shit is really better than having these relationships. These yeah. niggas be yeah. moving in in two weeks. It's, it's like speed dating in a way. Yeah. It's a lot of homosexuals. It's a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. of them. And then it cuts out all the playing <laughs> games because you know we married. This exactly. shit is serious. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, exactly. You know, one thing that, that, that um you know, I've talked to older people about is like uh, the issue with our generation is that we are afraid of commitment yeah we don't yeah. take marriage seriously like, yeah and that was big that was a big thing for me because i you know i grew up i grew up without my father so that was a big deal like yeah. man i want to be married i want the house with the kid and that was such mm. a you know it was important for me so i was like yeah, if i'm getting married like i'm gonna try to make it work as so it sounds as like possible. you and your wife are very intentional people yes yeah. yes we are and, uh, and it's just one of those things uh luck of the draw basically you looked up, y'all. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all looked up. You got me over up. here yeah. thinking I might need to uh, join try that show. The show. What? Well, hey, yeah, call yeah. caviar. Yeah, but just be honest. <laughs> just be honest and let let them know exactly what you're looking for. Because, like I said, some people are so pressed to just get on. Me on the show, yeah. But you really just gotta let them know what you're looking for. Like Thanks. you know, like it's gotta be like this. Or I'm just not interested. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure they'll probably try to do their best because they don't want you to get to the island and say, I'm nah, I man, can't they do don't. This they shit. want success, bro. Yeah. You know, there's going to be like, you're going to argue and stuff because it's normal with human yeah. beings and you just getting to know each other. That's what's up, man. So y'all moved in together. Everything was just smooth. Because y'all, to me, y'all seem like y'all really. We, we, mesh. Thought we look like a couple that yeah. were together for years. Years. That's what I see so it at. So what was y'all's TV moment like that y'all had that was like any bumpy parts? Because they were yeah, being boring a little to bit. see like, oh, wow, they y'all been together TV? so great the whole time. Yeah, we just had a couple like situations. Um, You know, just it's such a new relationship, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And there's miscommunication coming from both ends. You got to do no disclaimers. Just tell us. Yeah, right? yeah, we exactly. Like, you know, we set the record straight here. Right, we, right, it, we get it. it. Yeah, so, so basically like she's very, my, my wife, she's very upfront and like, in your face, not in no rude way, but that's just how she is. That's right? Atlanta girl. But sometimes, like, <laughs> I feel like Latino certain. Or black? Yeah, she, I'm sorry. Is she Latina or black? She's black. Oh, come so, on. um, you know, some some certain certain conversations I wasn't comfortable having. Okay. In front of a camera, so I would Got get you. uncomfortable. Okay. And then I would just kind of like shut down or like. Yeah, yeah. not like breaking shit, you. whatever. Yeah, like going ham. But to her, you she thinking you shut her out, but it's really yeah. these damn cameras in my face, right. lady. Yeah, oh. and it, that's that's just the thing. You're 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 not. It's so new to you. Yeah. yeah. Um. And I mean, so I love cool. my production team, man. They was all cool. Like I'm still connected with some of them. Shout out to the. But production it's just team. you know, if you're having a real intimate conversation and you're going like in deep, like. You know what I'm saying? It just feels it's hard. It's not even so much the cameras, it's other people there. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Just even the people, not even the cameras. Yeah, and I said that at the reunion. That was my one of my things. Because it did happen a few times. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. What did, what was like specific topics? You don't have to go in depth, of course, because it's cameras and people again, but what was the <laughs> topics like that you more like, you know, those No, moments? no, it's just just regular like relationship talk and stuff oh, like okay. this. Like, okay. oh, I like this or I like this. But just I just felt like, you know. I felt like a lot of the conversations, some conversations, um, yeah, I felt for comfortable. Just for privacy. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I feel, I feel like that on but the show thing, the whole thing about the show is like Absolutely. talking in front of the camera. I so I, I guess I was, I just wasn't prepared. So that was on yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. It was on me. You know. Yeah. That's that's that would be a, a bit. Imagine much. talking about like your childhood, like if you had a fuck like a in front of some cares. Yeah. 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 Like, it's like damn, bro. Like I'm talking about like my personal. Yeah, I feel you. So like it's just hard to do it when there's other like a bunch of people in the room, you know what I'm saying? So what is that like being vulnerable? Like wanting exactly, to be vulnerable word. with your yeah, wanting to be vulnerable with your wife, but then having the cameras there, but then also knowing that you know y'all have to really get to know each other. What was exactly. that like after? Um, with in, with in front of cameras in like you know transition from being in front of cameras to not in front of you know. I think like after know. like we were done filming it was just way better. Like our communication was just better. Um, it, you know, it's just the human 
reaction. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Not so much that I'm not trying to participate. Yeah. But it's just, yeah. just you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just you ain't trying to. You don't know how to tell all your right, business right. to all these people. Right, like right, 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 I totally get. I, it. I would have to myself. Damn. Right. I would have when he <laughs> said he fainted twice. I would have been like, you know what? I, I really ain't even got to do this shit. <laughs> right. You know what hey, saying? bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. There was a door before I stepped into the aisle, bro. I was about to run out that bus, bro. <laughs> that would have been my whole action. I'd be like, you know what? This shit really ain't even that serious. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they just get, I really they feel just get you running out the door. The camera fell on. They be like, what happened? Like, bro, I just couldn't do it. Like, I really don't yeah, gotta man. do this. So I'm yeah, not like, do it. this ain't really me. Mm -hmm. So, you, did you like uh, down the road? Did y'all have a? Didn't y'all have like another? You repropose just to kind of make yeah, it more so like. Yeah. So on intimate? the show, you 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 meet at. All right. So like y'all know, yeah, you meet at the altar. You don't meet until you are there. At the altar. <laughs> yeah, you're there. Like about yeah. to say I do. Yeah. Yeah. Like you meet at the altar. Hi, how you doing? I do. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't no pre conversations yeah. or none of that. Hey, my name is oh I do. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, but you know, luckily for us, it just went really, really well. You know, we had our bumps just like anything. For Nobody's sure. It's perfect. Not at all. Um but yeah, we moved in together after the uh the show and um I think six or seven months later, we bought a house. That's oh, dope. Wow. Shout out to you being a real estate agent, by the way. My mom's a real estate agent, so shout out oh, to awesome. you. Oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so my back, like, maybe, like, seven, eight years ago, my mom was buying a house, and I met this realtor. She was awesome, and she wanted me to work for her. But, like, at her brokerage, um, mm -hmm. I needed a license. So she's like, yeah, get your license, da -da -da -da, and then I'll put you on. And I just never did. Um, so at the time I was in the car industry, I worked for uh, Mercedes Benz, BMW, Range and Audi, <laughs> uh, and Range Rover. So I did, I was in the car business like almost 11 years. So like pretty much my whole entire adult life. Um, so, mm, well, one thing that I didn't mention was that um, me and my wife, we ended up having a child. Yeah, they oh, did. They oh, have, just yeah. had a baby. Congratulations. Thank you. That's crazy. Yeah, so we have a. This is moving quick for you. Yeah, you like, yeah, car, locked I in. Mean, Ain't no switching so up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so what so was how the? How long have y'all been married? We are gonna be three years in okay. August. Yeah, it's been a while. Ooh, yeah, this is like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. our baby so, is. Um, she's two months. Oh. Beautiful baby at that. Yeah. So was it a moment where you was like, "Dang, I never thought I'd really be in love with somebody like this in this type of sit setting." Like, yeah, never, was it that I never moment? imagined that in my life, bro. I always thought I was going to go through the entire process. That's why it was such a big deal for me to propose to my wife. Yeah. You know, that was Rhea, showing again, her my yeah, true, yeah. like, love. Like, it's for real, for real. Not yeah, the, yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. This is, yeah, real, real love. You know? So what about the the exes? Were they like, you really get married like this? Were they? Do you ever get some crazy DMs and stuff like that? <laughs> yeah. I know like, she I'm did. I'm pretty sure she had some old dudes <laughs> like... This is what you doing now? No, I definitely, I definitely got a couple messages, but you know, you ignore that, man. When yeah. you got something good, you gotta ignore all the. You like, just mess. block it out. Yeah, man. Yeah, just, you a you smart know, man. Just, just you a very on. smart yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, one thing I learned was, um, um, uh, people will hit you up on the DMs, but they really trying to expose you, just, yeah. just to see that, if you gonna I, communicate. You, yeah, yeah. Bro, tell me about it. So I always just, just knew what I was doing, kind of. Like, yeah. Oh hey, da, 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 trying to like hit on you or whatever. You just gotta you know be on your you know a game. Yeah. And I never responded because that's why you ain't see nothing on Reddit or anything yeah, crazy. But some life. other some of the other couples I seen people have like, gotten like, exposed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People have gotten exposed. People, you know, they'll take a screenshot. Wow. Because it's it hard for them to be in this when they just got into it and leave all of that alone when that's, that's the whole process of the show though. it's just the people who screenshot and it's just very it's corny. unfortunate you got yeah. people out here like that mm -hmm. like, it's, it's unfortunate but you know they have mm -hmm. their place to play in life too yeah you know yeah it's really corny yeah they quick to to try to expose somebody um Somebody got like exposed on um they was on uh Tinder. <laughs> oh god. But they were still married, you know? So stuff like that is crazy. Well, I know I watched that one in Charlotte too. Like when they were didn't they film something in Charlotte an episode, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a season? And the, it was like a talk. He was like a overseas basketball player or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was like the worst husband ever. Oh, like yeah, he, was, he was outside. Why he, he was, was married? Bad. All type of craziness. Oh, they go in on him all the time. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't expect anything like like the show to me. I guess I don't watch on a regular basis unless it's like an interesting like couple because it's mm -hmm. like it seems gimmicky to me because like that's that seems 
I mean, duh, like you so you wouldn't do that. You telling me you no, would? No, absolutely not. All right. But, <laughs> I mean, it's just. It's just the mere fact that he was a basketball player. This was his. Yeah, life. I would know better. They not taking mirror seriously, and they, they know that he they wasn't get no the NBA board. player though. Still they a ball player. player. He was players. a basketball player basketball and lived with his roommates. Like, yeah, they just be uh, cheating. Playing so. at the uh, LA Fitness. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> oh, I thought. Who are you? Like, <laughs> I was saying he was on an international team. No, he was like he was like a a semi pro. Played overseas on a couple of little minor overseas team. It wasn't like he was no NBA player. Okay, yeah, yeah, but you just saying that because you're from America. But, but if yeah, he they was on an getting, international yeah, team. They and, like Brittany but Griner still, was on though, an international if team. If you if you got on this show, don't make this woman look. No, I, I agree. It but, was the way he was dogging her, like literally. Oh, so he was like outside. Bro, outside, people catch him outside. He on date. She catching him, yeah. and she's still like, I just want to make it work. Like she was literally yeah, yeah, pleading. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh man! Like yeah, yeah, yeah. it was weird. I kind of understand, not that it would go that left, but I can kind of understand how somebody would get caught in the DMs or like, yeah. you know, just simple stuff. Because I mean, the marriage really, to me, in my mind, the average person wouldn't really take it seriously because you really don't know this person. Man, so, people don't take their own mar marriage seriously on the even on if they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, been together for five, six, seven years twenty before. years, thirty years. Yeah, these you, niggas don't hey, give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's be wild, but that's crazy. Y'all are probably one of the most successful. Yeah, that's beautiful, in the though. show, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, and we communicate with the couples that are still together. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So we've like collabed and stuff like that. So it's dope. So what y'all got going couples on? That have babies too. Yeah. Oh, nice. for real? Yeah. There's some that have two kids. Damn. Yeah, this show's been airing for a while now. Yeah. yeah. So I know y'all um y'all started a YouTube channel. Y'all got a house, y'all doing a family thing. So are y'all like seriously posting on YouTube all the time? How's that going? We ain't posting on YouTube like that. I'm gonna be honest with you, Brad. Yeah. It's just like, you know, since my wife got pregnant, it's just it's been like tough. baby talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, a good But we want to though, because we get a lot of like love. We get a lot of love. I know. Cause I'm I remember sure. when I met you. Your Instagram page is like at a thousand, and then I seen the show air, and I said, "Dang, he verified." Mm -hmm. Went back there, like oh. over a hundred thousand followers. I was like, "Yeah, yeah people watch that show." Yeah, yeah. So I thought that was dope. Though we talk about real men, it's you know you you come across as a very real yeah, man, yeah. like what you that know is. you know what I'm saying when I was younger, it's definitely bullshitting for sure. But I knew like once I was like 27, 28, I was like, "Yeah, I want to like look for something serious." Yeah, you know, I was very passionate about like finding somebody just because I didn't grow up with a. Mom and dad. Yeah. Kind of vibe, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Yeah. That's crazy. And I man. also, I feel like it's setting an example to other people, other young people like, you know, like us. Like, you know, it is possible to find somebody and make it work. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And you say that, you you know, you and your wife, of course, you have your own back and forths. But uh, do you have any, like, thing that you feel like maybe a little uh, over, the, over the top that you really require that she was like, this is insane. I don't want to do this. But well, what do you mean? Like, uh. On that 500 question list, basically what she's saying is, was it anything on there that she that you probably mentioned her like this is part of my requirement that she probably wasn't fucking with like you doing too much or even vice versa maybe yeah, something she was requiring versa. that you wasn't fucking with. There really wasn't much because I, I feel like our communication pretty dope. So okay. yeah, I think we 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 work things out. Like obviously, um, yeah, I think. I think that's one thing that I like about us, and like that's kind of how we are a success. We've been communicating really well, that's and dope. it's all thanks to her. I'm not the best communicator. Yeah. So mm -hmm. no Scotty Pippen, uh, Larsa. No, 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 not at all. Not just at all. to give y'all context, Larsa Pippen said that Scotty Pippen required her to have sex four times a day. <laughs> I mean that that really ain't that's that lot. bad. There's seven right, days though, bro. Four yeah. times a day. Four times a day. Four that means yeah. you can do it twice in the morning. Lunch wow. in the in the afternoon. She don't work. The nigga was playing in the NBA. What other can you do besides Yo, fuck? She's imagine. not a machine. She's a person. Yo, I imagine they have like a, a magnet day, board thing where they write the schedule. Yeah, he be like check. two p.m. <laughs> check my nigga. What? That's all you gotta do is sit at home and be a housewife. Why can't he just require you to do that four times Explain a day? Explain that a little further for me, Vaughn. What you mean? Because I feel that? like wow. if Scotty Pippen, That's the NBA player, wow. if you want to cut him out from cheating, he probably like, well, if my wife fucked me four times a day, that'll probably drain my cum and make me not want to go and do other things. So this is what I need from her so I could just stay on track and be a faithful man. What's wrong with that? Uh, she's not a machine. She's not a sex robot. She's no, not he, she, he's not making her no sex bro. He's just telling you what his requirements. Poor little the JJ. Four <laughs> times a day. You think that's a lot? Four times a day. That's you act like he said ten. These niggas over here laughing because they probably day, do it more times it's a day. Seven days in a week. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's not a lot. 
You never done maybe it for, four maybe, times. Maybe for early couples, if you dating That's early, true. but for to be dating for you're married for twenty plus years and have it well, obviously every single, day. every single day. You think that's a lot? Something that's too much. I don't have no comment. Like, so for somebody mine and they lips to even like say them words, it's just clown behavior to me. So I don't feel like that's a problem. But I can though. see how that could be you, like possible. You got a fiance, so maybe she getting pounded that much. Like, that's just a really inappropriate thing for somebody to require. Me. I don't feel so like that's a lot. I really I don't. Going on like. That's the, I'm, that's the thing. You know it's like saying, I, I, you get in three weeks about the at, at the best thing, but. a week. Like I don't have time for that. Like that. Like you said three times a week. Yeah, like I don't have the time. Three times like, a week I'm, is good. But that's, that's you. Going. She got the time. But she a housewife you know? and don't True. work. I don't even know anybody that can even keep that up and have access. They're not married anymore, so it wasn't successful requirement. No, I'm just saying that that's <laughs> different when you ain't got the time because you're busy. This woman don't do nothing. How do you know? If she was dating Scotty. What What did you know her to do? What I mean, she, I don't did know. she have you know, any ugly? So, so yeah. you know, all them claim they got something going on. So I don't know for sure. Like business. All we ever knew her to do was kids. be Scotty Pippen wife. At least she, okay. I know for sure she had the kids, but just the expectation of four times a day, every day, like yeah, it's a little aggressive. For that's me. very aggressive. You think that's a lot? Yeah, I f- like you said, like the early <laughs> stages is like I, I can see a couple doing right. that, but like, bro, you've been married five years. They said twenty <laughs> plus years. They but it's married. the one yeah, year part for me. <laughs> but he Why he may not even mean like full blown out set. He may just mean give me a little head for thirty minutes. All right, get me off. A that could be another one. Minutes. He may you may he may not even bring do the whole four sometimes because he may be tired of playing ball all day. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure. He's I'm just making sure. sure he covered. That's it. I really don't see a problem with it when she ain't got nothing to do. Well, child, you got a I wonder if she case, so you got your requirements and maybe that's what's your, your so list. what maybe is your times a day. It, four I, I, times I, a day is too much for me. I wonder busy, I wonder so if she's, I'm just saying that from the jump. I'm just trying to understand and be devil's advocate for him. I, that's I, it. I wonder if she walks with a limp, cause man, shit. <laughs> that's a lot. Twenty years of that. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's I'm pretty she sure her new well, dude making her do more though. First of all, she's dating somebody younger than Scotty Pippen, so I know he making her do more. I know she already used to, to the schedule, so, so yeah, she good. She was with Future, <laughs> and she was oh, with, she was with Future. She was yeah. with Future. Did y'all hear the story of why they said why Future uh, made that uh, song Gucci flip flop? No, started fucking with her in the first place. No, what happened? They said that when Future was younger, he had went to a game and tried to get a, a autograph from Scotty, and he really? was like this them type shit. Oh so he my god, his life and he, and he was blew like. Up. <laughs> That's for the future's a dog ass nigga, bro. So That's she, crazy. Why, why, the heads, I haven't heard. They said why him she, and Future look alike though, so nah, they do. I'm not about that now. You think they look alike? I can't pull it up. I can't pull That's up a weird. side by side. <laughs> My phone is. I don't broken. think so. So is that her get back for like? Oh, I'm I don't about, know. Now I'm gonna marry your team players. I don't know. Scotty like got one up on her right now. Like she looking down. She looking real bad right now. Why Scotty got one up? Y'all need to inform I think me. She is, is dating, dating right. Um, Michael uh, Jordan's son. son. Kids, what's, what's his name? I can't remember his name, but yeah, like that's a Marcus. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Scotty got one up on her. She, yeah. yeah, she looking a little. It's just like you dating your my old teammates' child who you saw as a kid. That's you know what I'm saying. And that's creepy. I think that's yeah, the weird you, part of out it. Out of all the people in the world that you could be fucking you with, you lost the pimping. You look so good for your age, blah blah blah, right. and this like. And her only excuse was him and Jordan wasn't that, that cool, cool, so I didn't yeah. see him hanging with the kid and all of that. Like, lady. And then you try to blame it on y'all lady. got the same friend group. What old ass girl is hanging with this young nigga? What right. friend groups do y'all have? That's what I wanted to know. I'm trying to understand. I just don't get it, man. But I guess she trying to, you know, live that same lifestyle she was living with Scotty. I yeah, don't get she it. she really misses him. She said that she it really is going to take a lot to fill his shoes. So, like, he was like the perfect. <laughs> yeah. A lot, yeah, for Four sure. Four times a day, huh? <laughs> yeah. So she got a, she got, well, she, she didn't have no problem with it. She said he was a perfect man. But no, she really just, like, said he was, like, the gold standard for, like, a man. So, she said like, that when recently? So why did they get divorced? So I, feel, I don't remember. I, I don't, keep, she, she do a lot of. So she things. just trying to find somebody closest to yeah, him. Yeah, that's why I felt. That, oh, she but, just trying to do something to, to spiteful to my, get his I attention. I don't know if the son is going to be able to. I mean, he's a, one of them Nepo children, so I don't know what he's going to be what able to pull I, versus Scotty Pippen Jordan level. And that's, yeah. you know, what do you, I mean, that should, I don't know, like, that's the kind of same group as your kids, I guess. Right. Yeah. What, that's I, do, weird. what I do know is that his, her kids are going to reset her. <laughs> that, yes. Yeah. Like, my mama out here looking crazy. Crazy. Yo. Crazy. That's embarrassing. Scotty man. Pippen got a cute girlfriend too. She kind of young too, but it's not the fact that it's a woman dating a younger guy. Because it's not. I know people, his it's not that. It's really the the, the kind of connection yeah. to it. 
But Scotty got a cute little, you know, thing. That is right. That's like one of my homeboys <laughs> having a girl, and that girl trying to date my son years later. I'd be like, bitch, what? Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's really insane. Yeah, that's yeah. insane. And he probably was like nine, ten back in the day. Like Absolutely. he's probably like our age, right? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's wild. Like, right. That's too yeah. much for me. That's yeah. too much. Yeah. But talk tell, about tell your little friend to come over uh, next weekend. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Talking about Jordan though, because in his kids, they was comparing LeBron and Jordan. Everybody say LeBron is the best, okay? Because all his new accolades they go back and forth. But they, you they was, probably say that because you're probably a LeBron fan. No, I really ain't a fan of neither. I really, really? I, I watch more football than basketball. Got you. But what I was about to compare was people was talking about online like. LeBron is a better father than, father than Jordan. Absolutely, just, just wow. because of the way. <laughs> but why, why, the way he did. I mean, at least here, optics wise. We, we, when you talk about Jordan or LeBron, we talking sports. Why but when, but I don't know why they compared the father situation. That's so stupid. But when you look at it, it is kind of like, dang, LeBron do put a lot into his kids while he's playing basketball. Right. Yeah, he does. As far as trying to help them support their basketball, because I don't remember I ever think, seeing Jordan trying to support his kids. They said Jordan no, is selfish though. But I, no but, yeah, I was getting ready to say, I, I think Jordan and LeBron are two very different people as well. Like. We see, I mean, LeBron kind of comments on everything now, but early on, we saw him being yeah. really about the community. You know what I'm saying? Jordan, we ain't really seen. I mean, he did donate that money to, was it Black Lives Matter or something later? I don't know. But he, I just, know. he just donated a whole bunch of money. Just recently, yeah. right. But like you said, I have heard that he's selfish. I mean, I feel like he, like, I work for this, this mine. Just don't forget the where that mean, fuck them kids came from, you know? Yeah, but it I feel like. It was at that basketball camp, and. They was like, if he if he missed one one out of the five in a row, that they get free shoes. He knocked down like damn near ten straight. Like y'all <laughs> niggas not going home with nothing. But do you think like he ever thought in his mind like <laughs> how so LeBron thinks? Way. Like I want a legacy. I want my kids to be as great as me, if yeah, not better. Yeah. Like I don't feel like I think Jordan I think Jordan was more like I couldn't there. make the team. So you got to make the team. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I feel like parents should always encourage. work harder so their kids have to work less. Right. Like, I don't want to have to have my I kid agree. go through everything I've been through. Right. I, I feel like LeBron is making his son as good as basketball, doing giving him way more. Uh, LeBron probably ain't have no personal trainers and no yeah. special wow. gyms and camps he can go to. This nigga had to get out of the mud. Yeah. So when he got his son, he can send him to the best schools, yep. the best everything, and they probably going to be even better than him. You know what I'm saying? I think that LeBron easier. and Jordan are also two different generation of Absolutely. men as fathers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. Jordan Moore is from that generation of like, I worked hard, so you're gonna work hard. Right. Life is gonna be hard, so Old you have people to do come think like that though. You know true. what I'm saying? While that LeBron generation. definitely def came up in the era of men where I'm gonna build my sons up to be great men. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah. I feel right. like generationally they're different. Especially because yeah, he right. came, like you said, he came from nothing and he didn't have his father. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's how I feel like my daughter's gonna get everything. She's gonna everything. Be she ain't gonna have to work for nothing. Right, that's like a, she's gonna be spoiled if it's up to me you ain't gotta work for nothing because i'm I, getting it all done for you right yeah. now i just want you to go to school and figure out what you want to do if you want to take your whole 20s to figure it out go ahead because my <laughs> whole 20s i was grinding trying yeah, to figure yeah. it out yeah that's yeah. crazy so how did it feel having a baby for the first time was it different it was oh, like an man. instant love like oh, an instant of course bro oh man like when i see when they brought the baby up to us after the delivery Man, we just had like happy tears coming down our mm. eyes, bro. It was beautiful. So, was you in the room? Yeah, I was in the room. Yeah, the room. you almost yeah. fainted then too. Oh man, <laughs> I seen the blood and all that stuff, man. I wasn't ready for that, but you know, I was with, I was there to support her. So yeah, it was cool. And the people from the show, I'm pretty sure they was like staying in touch, trying to figure it out uh, if y'all was having a baby. Uh, yeah, people just like, oh, how you doing, and this and that, like you know, checking in. So people was cool. They was they was definitely supportive. That's what's up, man. That was um, a dope situation. Who's couple goals for you? I know a lot of people be like looking at people for different couple goals. Like who do y'all like kind of look up to? Oh, that's a good question. Um, Everybody say LeBron and I mean Jay Z and Beyonce, that's but that's you. Let that's not the realistic because I feel like you was gonna say that. I I feel like if I had to, I, I don't have a name, but if I had to pick one, it would be like a very successful couple that just kept okay. it low key. Okay, that's how we are. Okay. You know, I, you know, but you don't have an image from as anybody in particular, just attributes. Ah, I really don't. Um, we do. Um, we love her um, mother's relationship with her stepfather. I think they've they've accomplished a lot, and we got a lot of like admiration and respect for them. So okay. as a couple, they, they've been grinding uh, for a long time, many many years. 
this new generation don't even understand building something with somebody is better than getting some handout and chasing somebody with some money just to make your situation better. Yeah. It's better to build. So, it's Vaughn, so much better to your, build. Your, is, is your couple goals for you and your fiance like jump big they and um Jay Z? Hell no. Nah. Your <laughs> couple goals. My my I don't really have a couple that I idolize that I need to be like that. I feel like everybody got their own journey and I just want to be able to build. I don't want to feel like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's so many. I You can go get whoever you want. I can go get whoever I want. But I feel like if you build something, it'll be something nobody can't tear down. Right. You know what I'm saying? Foundation. You know what I'm saying? You can't replace this situation. Mm. You can go somewhere else, but it ain't going to be the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I just think that's what us as young people should be focusing on more is building. Because a lot of times this generation, we sit and go to the club and try to find and it whoever these guys they want the instagram girls the girls want the niggas with the money it don't be no substance because half the time the way these guys are getting the money ain't nothing <laughs> substantial to stand on anyway they Facts. either scamming bamming or doing whatever Not <laughs> it, it it doesn't last long Facts. you know what i'm saying yeah. so if you could really understand two incomes is better than one whether y'all just working regular regular job yeah you put a 60 and a 60 together that's over a hundred thousand yeah. yep. word you put a 70 and a 70 together that's over that and over that you know what i'm saying you just got to work together, man, and build some stuff. I agree. Like, I, I do see – that was my experience dating in, dating in Atlanta, for sure. Like, I met a lot of females that, you know, at first it was cool, but like you said, they want everything already done. Yeah. And I'm big about, like, building. Let's build together. It's going to take some time. But like you said, that foundation needs to be structured, like, strong so it doesn't just crumble. You need yeah. a strong-minded woman. You need a mm -hmm. woman that understands we both have temptations and it's never – you don't have to seek outside for this. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I feel like even men and women in this day and age, we always looking, trying to look for the best, best thing. And when you really got everything in front of you, you just got to work for it. Nothing, we want to skip steps. I yeah, say this to yeah. my fiance all the time. You can't skip the process. We got to go through these hard times to get to the other side so we respect what we went through. Yeah. That also lets you know the other person's down. Yeah. When you, you know, skating on th thin ice, is exactly. it going to stick around? Is it going to stick? Is they going to go through it with you? They're going to mm. go through the process. Mm. Are they going to stay in the hospital when you're down? Is they going to, you got to go through it. Yeah, because when you're up, it's done. Like, ain't nothing you can it do. It ain't nothing. It's nothing we can, if you come to me, if you come to me and I'm rich, it's nothing that we can experience. Right. Mm, that's not right. true. Because when I fall off, you may not be the same for me that you was when I'm up. I don't, I don't know if that's true. That's not. So why you say? Because I don't think every, I think, yes, money is a motivator, right? It, it either shows that you got to hustle or whatever, about you got it, whatever, right? But I don't think money is always, like, a determinant factor for people. Like, yeah. I've dated people, I've dated women with real money before. You know what I'm saying? And I like them a lot, but it just wasn't that thing. And that wasn't enough for me to be like, yeah, yeah she got all this money, so I'm going to deal with this. Or I know we're not 100% compatible, so I'm just going to stick around. Like, I mean, we ain't saying 100% of the women, but a lot of percentage out here in this city. I, th I think before people actually know themselves. You know what I'm saying? But and that you could really be true. you know yourself for real, you at least intentional about learning who you are. Money, it's like for me at least, in my life, money come and go. I have a lot of it. I don't have none of it sometimes. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I feel like when you have people who are looking for real relationships, they can meet somebody with a lot of money and they can't end up having nothing, but they're going to still stay with that person because they believe that they got that hustle in them to get it back up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. I, I think we got we, we should stay away from the discourse. that Because I think that's the problem. We keep saying that, and then that's why people act like that. Exactly. When that's not really true. Like, most people, when you really get grown, we grown, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you get a certain age, like you, like you was intentional about your application. I feel like the same thing go with somebody with bread. Like, yeah. okay, you got money. That's nice. Once people have that money, it's not about, oh, we don't have anything to experience anymore. But I mm -hmm. think that's people with actually substantial money. Like, yeah. there's so much more to life than money. Like, that takes yes. a lot of heartache off the table. So you it can does. experience those other things in life. Like, what different type of caviars am I going to try today? Like, mm -hmm. no, ask the girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, like, you know, it's a different, different level of, like, experiences once money's off the table. So I feel like it ain't always about yeah. we got to grind together. We got to go through all this hard, hard yeah. struggle. Like, I'm trying to min minimize the heartache and struggle, okay? Like, I'm trying to have good times as you know, much as possible. Like your situation, that was a hard time that can't nobody yeah. Yeah, do nothing ever. about. Yeah, that's yeah. a fact. But all the the money hard times, like 
I don't, I don't feel like that's some that's that will make you solid. Like I was dead broke and you was <laughs> I, th- I like, think what you're talking about is the journey. It's the journey. Yeah. It's not much as much as the money. It's more of the journey. Yeah. yeah. I just feel we like well, like you said, exactly. most people don't be trying to stick through it. Like they don't want to. Like they don't want to see nobody. They don't want to be with nobody that they gotta feel like they have to go through something with. I feel like people just want everything easy access, and it's, life ain't that way. But they say business is filled in the first five years. And exactly. Right. Marriage yeah. contract, well, I mean, yeah. Exactly. I had an experience like that. Um, I was dating someone. We was kicking it cool, and um, I brought up the idea that I wanted to start a business, and I was going to quit my job. Yeah. <laughs> and we ain't last after long after that. Because mm. you needed to go through that rut. Exactly. That's crazy, yeah. though. Now, that's crazy. I remember one of my exes, he wanted to get real serious about singing and stuff. And he was like working at a pizza like parlor or something like during that time. But you know, that's crazy if something now that is different. Like somebody that's kinda I don't know, they kinda a little selfish in yeah. their relationship with those mm-hmm. kind of mentality. Shows yeah, you they don't like, really believe in you. And that that was the I yeah. needed to see that, right? Because yeah, it yeah. showed she showed her, her true color. But it's yeah. a difference between starting a real legit business that you can probably <laughs> versus saying, I wanna be a singer, I'm finna quit my job. Yeah. Like I mean that's it just depends. It's the same to I me. think it yeah, yeah. I think it depends. Though, you can't say a legit business. Can he sing though? Can, can he? He sing. could sing. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> niggas burned, would be like, I can rap. Yeah, I'm about right. to quit my nine to five and rap. I'd be but like, bro, say that say <laughs> this shit ain't really hitting, my boy. <laughs> it's a lot of people that have businesses, and I'd be like, this is not actually. I, I think I know what you're talking about. I got a I got a good friend of mine. Like he's real cricket shirts. Like yeah, I got a friend of mine. He's real talented. He can sing. He can like play the drums. He can like. Uh, play the guitar. I can see, like, I see what you're saying. Like, you know, like, somebody got if the he talent. Had it, yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah, a, yeah, in yeah. A, but I know my line sister for sure. Her um, relationship was really, really on the, I felt like, on the rocks. And I don't know because I wasn't really in contact with her before her, his situation happened similar to yours. But um, it really just intensified afterwards. And I think she was trying to contemplate whether she should, like, leave him or not. Or, you mm. know, it was like a real... And all of the people around at that particular time, I'm thinking, like, I don't know. Should she leave? And then it's messed up if she leave the man down in the hospital. But, like, if your relationship, I guess, wasn't secured before, how would you feel if y'all kind of part ways during your, like, you know, your healing process journey? I mean, honestly, I wouldn't have... If that was, had been the case, yeah. I, listen, I wouldn't have even been mad. Because, honestly, I ain't know what the fuck was going on. Still grateful that they was there. Yeah, the I'm moment. still grateful, yeah. but in the process, if she was going to be like, you know what, this is too much for me, mm-hmm. I would have had to respect it because yeah. I would have been like, I don't even know what's next for me right now. <laughs> right. Right. My nigga, I don't even know I'm going to walk. I don't know what I'm going to yeah. do. Like, yeah. And I understand that. Like, yeah. I would have had to just eat it up and just be like, it is what it is. Yeah. But thank God she stuck around. But yeah. honestly, I I don't know what it would have been for me either. Hey, you know, shout outs for you, to you, man, for putting pulling yourself up and getting yeah. through that man yeah for sure, yeah, for for sure man. man respect for you man i, I was, appreciate it i seen it and i was like yo that's motivational that's something that gotta be told bro so yeah man. Job, man it's you crazy inspired a, lot of, inspired a lot of people i appreciate it. i get a lot of dms and a lot of times i just be being me i don't really be i ain't saying i don't be trying to inspire people <laughs> but right. i really don't be trying it to inspire happen. people it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> like me being resilient is just the inspiration you. you know what i'm saying talk, talk right. to talk it to you know what i'm saying like right through the king y'all so I didn't even know, like, me trying to get healthy, going back into the gym. I had people reaching out, like, bro, I need to get my fat ass in the gym. You just got shot 26 times, and I'm okay. con- contemplating yeah. going to work out. Like, and you just said that now. I'm like, I got to go running in the morning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I so, keep saying I'm going to do it. That's still another week. I went back. I haven't yeah. ran anywhere. It was just, it was a long journey, anymore. though. But like I said, it was what it was. I'm just glad I can inspire people to just want to do something with themselves other than what they doing. Right. But I showed you what you got in you, too. And then, like. I'm sure you saw the people that stuck around and the, the people that, you know. Flew oh, away yeah. Or whatever. Everybody showed their true colors. Um, mm. pe- family, all of that. Like, uh, people that I thought, like, oh, this my aunt. She going to ride. She going to be here to help me get. <laughs> ain't so. heard from you since. <laughs> but you got to respect it because you don't know if they yeah. feel like I'm putting them in danger by being around me. Yeah. I just had to take it for what it is. True. But I just feel like when you have stuff like that going on, you got to leave them where it's at. Yeah. It ain't nothing we can do at that point. Yeah. So, so you just thank God for the blessing that he opened your eyes to what's sure. really real. Right. Yeah. right. set the record straight. Yeah. <laughs> right. You got anything to set the record straight before we close up? Get up out of here. Damn. <laughs> no. You know, you know, I'm the, the married guy here. So just saying that everybody got their person. You just got to yeah. keep looking. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think a lot of times people would get with people and just, and just focus on their flaws. You got to look at their strengths, too. You know what I'm saying? 
and help them and strengthen them. Them exactly. strengths. Exactly. Yeah. Let's, let's. That's dope, man. I well, I appreciate you for coming on, man. Oh, for sure. Um, we locked in for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and I seen your whole journey. You seen mine basically because right. when you was starting, I was basically starting and doing right, my thing. Right, right. But I appreciate it. anything y'all want to say before we get up out of here. Get your asses in the gym is March Madness. I agree. <laughs> My name is Vincent, and I, and I just set the record straight. All right, y'all, man. We appreciate y'all. This episode 10. 10. We out of here. Stay tuned. Like, I'm like, I'm going to die. Because I, I knew I got hit so many times. I was like, oh, yeah, it's over with. This is dying. <laughs> That's their new name. We got to call them. <laughs> he kind of said it. He was like, my ideal girl, the girl that I'm going to be with.